Hello everybody, Flick here. It's time for yet another Let's Look At, and today we are taking a look at Lit by Way Forwards. Lit is a light-based puzzle game. It was originally on the Wii, I think, so you may know it from that. It was also apparently on Android and iOS. I hadn't heard of it. But it's now on Steam, and I will be linking to the Steam Store page in the description box below. It's, it's pretty fun. I have finished it, and that's both a positive and a negative for the purposes of these videos. But let's just press any key. As it says, although by any key, it does not mean left mouse button. I guess that's not a key, because it's not the keyboard, but still. So the story is, you are playing as this gentleman who looks a little bit like my channel avatar, though. Just, you know, turn his skin blue and his hair bluish purple, and that's what you've got. He's looking for Rachel. Rachel! And he has to find her by going through various classrooms following a set of rules involving light, darkness, shadow monsters, that kind of thing. Now the level selection you're seeing here, with all my times that I did to do it, that is all that's here in the game. When you get past 116, as in room 116, the 16th level, that's it. The game is over. It took me about 50 minutes to do that. Now I got the bad ending. Apparently there's two endings. I can guess the difference just from only seeing the bad one. To get the good one, you just have to improve your times. That's it. Well, times and steps, I assume. Steps as in the steps you take to do the puzzle. Time is how fast you do it. So there is a second ending to get if you are willing to get rid of all these red timers. I don't know if getting them in the green is required or just not being in the red. But either way, there is some replayability there and then I believe you unlock a different character. I mean, no prizes for guessing whom if you do get that other ending. But anyway, let's jump into room 101 and we'll see what it's like. So I'm not going to get a good time here because I'm going to stop and explain things. But we're in the top left. We can move around. I like the animation quite a lot. It's, it's a very nice art style. We picked up a ball which we can use in our slingshot and over on the right there are the various abilities we can use and the reason they're color coded that way is because if you're using a 360 controller guess which buttons correspond to what so we can't step on any darkness tiles if we ever step in a tile and then turn it dark we die if a monster reaches us we die and the goal is just get to the exit so because we have this we can aim it from here and create ourselves a light path in turn we can grab this we can also grab this we can form another light path and with a light bulb, put it in there. Now just to show you how you kill yourself, there you go. And now we're going to try and do this actually quickly. As quickly as possible. I already wasted a step, but that's fine. So that's how you do it quickly. You see my new time, what the goal is, and what my personal best is. So we came in under both there, so that's fine. And then we get to restart it, go to the main menu, or continue. Well, let's go to the main menu and see if it actually turned it green because I got under the average. Yeah, okay. So that probably means you're aiming for green, not necessarily in the steps, but in the time. So we jump into puzzle two here. Again, you can kind of learn the process that you're supposed to go in. This is teaching you how to take out and put in lights. I used a couple of extra steps there, but we might still fall under the average. No, we used too many steps. That's that's unacceptable. Let's do that more efficiently. So if we go like that, like that. Oh wait, no, sorry, the goal was 30. I was fine. All right, that's that, that's perfectly acceptable. Move on. So it will steadily introduce more elements to what we have to do. I'm just reminding myself how to do this one. Uh, let's see. Ah, yes, the window here. And we take this, we take that. The last couple of puzzles were genuinely difficult. It took me a long time of just kind of like sitting and looking and trying to work out what I'm supposed to do to get out. So the goal there is under 40, so I did actually do it. I wasn't fast enough though. Let's try and do that one a little bit faster. I keep on losing where the first window is. All oh, right, I see, right, let's restart. You have to put in the, the light first. Oh, whoops. <laughs> see, that's the problem when you go fast. You sometimes lose a step. That is not the first time I have done that. There we go, we should be under both now. Now I can't really show off too many more puzzles because there is the danger that I'm showing off a signif significant portion of the game. I'll do maybe one more in a row and then I'll skip a couple and go to one of the harder ones. Because I've probably forgotten the process you're supposed to do them in. 
There is eventually like wrong ways to do puzzles. This could be the very first one actually. If you break the wrong window, like if I had broken the one that was above me there, I think I, oh wait, no, I've done it wrong now actually. You need to make sure you have enough balls to get where you need to be. So, did that wrong, time to rethink it. You probably want to smash this one first then. This would get you to a light bulb, but no, that wouldn't get you there. There you go. So now I can get to the light by smashing this window, but then I can't get to the... No, I've still done it wrong. Hmm, I've used up one too many balls. Oh, wait, no, 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 because I can get, grab this ball. There we go. So that's a fairly complicated order you've got to do that in. So it is going to be harder to get under the time there. And I, I did actually get under the steps, didn't I? No, wait, no, not quite. So we can try and be more efficient. I'm just debating, is it faster to do this one first or the other one first? Hang on a minute here. If I get that one first, am I using up less steps or more steps? Hmm. Oh wait, no, I have to get that one over there. So I did it in the right order the first time. Okay, okay. It doesn't matter which one I smash first, it matters which one I smash second. I don't know if this uses up more time or less time, however. I used up one too many steps there, that's for sure. But we can do this fast. Well, fast-ish. Is this the fastest way to do it? I'm not sure. See how we came under there. Oh, yeah, we were under the, the time, but we weren't under the steps, so there's a more efficient way to do it steps-wise. So let's assume we do it this way, then. He's still going to go backwards and forwards, though, so I'm still not convinced this is the most efficient way steps-wise. Time-wise, we were totally fine there. That doesn't matter. That's done. always go faster, I suppose. Did we come under steps there? No, that was more. How did I manage to use more steps? Hmm, alright. Well, let's, I, I cannot work out how to get more steps there. Let's go to main menu and see how our times are looking now, though. So... What room was that? That was 104. So our time is fine, but our steps aren't. Yeah, it tells you the goals. So my goal in the next one, I did it under the steps, but I didn't do it fast enough. So I know it will be a little bit of a short video, but we'll make 105 our last one we do. I will just say though, that as short as it is, even with the small replayability of trying to beat your scores and then the other character, it is available for a budget price. The price for Lit on Steam is £4.79, so I assume that will work out at like $7.99 in dollars, maybe a little bit lower than that, something like... That's, that's the lower end of the indie budget scale in my mind. I would say it's fair. I would have said maybe round it off, off at, a, at four for what's here. The puzzles are very clever. The art style is nice. It's just a shame that we didn't do more with it. It feels like they could have built on this a lot more. Let me just double check if 105 is the first one where we have a monster. Yes, it is. Okay. There's a couple of different types of enemy. Your protection against them is fire. Again, because I'm sitting explaining stuff, we're not going to get a good time here. But let's see in general what we want to do here. So first of all, we want to do that. This monster type does not move towards you, however, the other monster type in the game will move towards you if it has a light path. If it doesn't have a light path, then it won't move. So now we want to do this. Oh wait, did we want to do that? No, we totally didn't. We wanted to do... Oh wait, no, wait, no, I think we, we can still good do this. Hmm. Or maybe not. No, that isn't going to work. No, we messed that one up. Alright, let's die. So that's obviously correct. This, this, if we're not smashing that window, we're smashing this window. Ah, uh, yes, and then we grab this, we grab that, there we go, we can now burn the monster. Now why is there that other ball up there? I assume that's a red herring. Alright, we can do this faster. Let's restart this one. It must be a red herring. Oh, I did it wrong! It's the, that window. 
See, when you try and go fast, you make mistakes. Don't worry, got it this time. Oh, trying to go fast and then I waste steps. Then, oh, we will do this efficiently. We will. Do, we're not just doing it well. We're doing it efficiently. I swear it. There you go, that's more like it. 16 seconds, 45 steps, we came well under par there. Not too shabby. So yeah, I, I've shown off, not almost half, but you know, five out of 16 levels. So I don't want to show you the solutions to the others. It is kind of fun going back and bettering your time once you know the solution, but the, the harder puzzles, it'd be hard to remember the steps you go through. The last two puzzles in particular kept me stumped for quite a while. As you can see, my, my best time on the final one was 1 minute 36. That's pretty slow compared to the, the power of 50. It's an okay game. I think it's almost fairly priced. Just keep in mind, you're not going to get a huge amount of play out of it. Maybe keep an eye on it for a sale. If you got this on sale, I would say it's just a, it's a clever little puzzle game that I quite like. You can also probably check it out on a phone if you want. It might be better priced on there. Or we if you still have one of them kicking around. Anyway, I will link to the Steam Store page below if you are curious. This is my mouse moving this, by the way. For Lit, you can go check it out. Also, please consider leaving a like on the video to show your support to me or a developer. And go check it out. Thanks for watching, and I shall see you next time. Stop for now.